Okay, this is question six. It's a sequence and series question or number patterns. Okay, so the first four terms of a sequence are 15, 12, 8, and 6, which of the following functions represents the above sequence? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing this. All right, so the answer is I'll just tell you the answer straight away. It's this one here y is equal to x squared, x squared minus 9x plus 26. The reason for this, there's two ways to justify this answer. Uh, the number pattern way is if you take the form 18, 12, 8, and 6, the first difference between all of these is going to be minus 6, minus 4, minus 2. Okay? But the difference between these guys is plus 2, plus 2. So, second difference is common. Therefore, the sequence, uh, sequence is quadratic and I know that this is a quadratic because it has x squared minus 9x plus 26 y is a quadratic uh, equation okay now the way I'm not going to write it here because I've run out of space another way is if I had to call this my first term my second term my third term and my fourth term and I sub 1 into this formula here, I should get 18. If I sub 2 into this formula here, I should get 12. If I sub 3 into this formula here, I get 8. And if I sub 4 into this, I should get 6. Okay? And that's another way to show that it, the function is, in fact, quadratic. All right? Or that this, seek, that this function is, in fact, the right one. Okay? Part B says, hence using the following table or otherwise, write down the next three terms of the sequence. Well, looking back up here at what I was doing, it goes down by minus 2 or it goes by minus 6, down to my, by minus 4, down by minus 2. Alright, so if I add 2 to this here, okay, add 2 to minus 2, I get 0, which means there's going to be no change here, which means the next number is going to be 6. Okay, add 2 to this one here, and I'm going to run out of space here, you get 2, which is going to make that become 8, and makes that become 12, makes that become 18, so it's going to be 6, 8, 12. Alright, just that's how quadratic goes, and the change is minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4. And the change of the change is plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Okay? And that's C part B. Part 1 says find dy dx, the first derivative of the function representing the sequence. Okay, well, y is equal to x squared minus 9x plus 26. So I'm going to differentiate that and find dy dx, which is going to equal 2x minus 9. Really, that's all there is to that question. That's all they asked to do, find the first derivative. Then it says find d squared y, the second derivative of the function representing the sequence, and explain the significance of your answer in relation to the sequence. Well, the answer is going to be this. The answer is simply 2. All right. So d squared y over dx squared is equal to 2. The significance, the second derivative... is equal to the change of the change. change. Or in other words, the second difference. The second derivative is equal to the second difference or the change of change, which you should see over here. So if you want, if you have a quadratic function representing a pattern to find the change of the change, just differentiate it twice. And that was the number pattern question.